my gosh. Hello. Hello. Huh. Hello. Hello. I wonder why so many people are here today. <laughs> yeah, right. You're right. You're here for me. You're here for me. No, 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 no. No, that's not. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. Yes, welcome back. I realized something with Karin. When you are asking tough questions, you will never be called up to ask a question. This reporter got angry and decided to express himself. For over seven months, he has not been given a single opportunity you know, to ask a question. But now see how the Daily Mail put it, disruptive reporter during White House briefing Jean Pierre tears into correspondence for interrupting her and press cops start shouting in front of Jackson. Oh my gosh. Hello. Hello. Huh. Hello. Hello. I wonder why so many people are here today. <laughs> Yeah, right. You're right. You're here for me. You're here for me. No, 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 no. No, that's not. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. From across the room, you've been discriminating against me and discriminating against some people in the briefing room. And I'm saying that this is the U.S. This is not China. This is not Russia. This is not Russia. Okay. What you are doing, you are making a monthly of the first amendment. It's been seven months. You've not called on me. You've not know my messages. I'm saying that that's not right. That's not right. Fun times. Welcome, guys. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to the press briefing room. Okay. This is not right. Are we ready? Are we going to behave? While many folks... Decorum, please. Simon. Sorry to our guests. We apologize. Yes, I apologize. Yeah, I apologize. Uh, uh, you, can keep, you, you, you can keep discriminating against some people in the briefing room because you don't like them, you don't like them. So you have a choice. No, you, you, you have a choice. You have a choice. A number of people okay. in the briefing room. And I'm saying that that's not right. This is not China. This is not Russia. This is the United Cora! States. This is the White House. No, it's been seven months. I sent you seven months. You're the rest of us are here too, pal. It's been seven months. You guys have not done anything for me. If you have grievances, you should bring them to her later. I have done that. I have done that. All my emails have been ignored. And the press corps is tired of dealing with this. It isn't just about you, Simon. Understand that you get questions all the time and you don't understand what it is to sit here for eight months and be discriminated against. Understand that you're in the front row and you feel comfortable and you get questions all the time. But there are people in the back who don't get any questions. Don't make assumptions about what the rest of us do. Mind your manners when you're in here. If you have a problem, you bring it up afterwards. But you are impinging on everybody in here who's only trying to do their job. Okay, Sorry. thank you. I'm saying that you shouldn't discriminate against some people because you don't agree with their question, you're offended by your question. Major point. Major point. We all heard it. All right. Guys, as you all know, many of you know, this is the White House press briefing room, a historic room, a room that should have decorum, a room where folks should respect their colleagues and respect the guests that are here. And I understand that there's going to be give and take. That's the way the press briefing has gone for, for decades before me. And what has just occurred this last 10, 15 minutes is unacceptable. It's it, it is unacceptable. So we're, gonna, so we're either going to continue the briefing or we can just end the briefing right here. Okay, well then let's go. Please. It's been seven months. You've not called on the me. You've not know my message yet. I'm saying that that's not right. Scud. That's good shit right there. I'm gonna need every last drop of this. Yeah, so you will see exactly what is happening here. He is fed up. For a very long time, you know, he's not being caught up. Even you, you will feel tired. Let's forget about some kind of differences, but in this case, you will see that he was just acting like Peter Doucet. For some time now, we don't hear about Doucet versus Karen like we used to get. Him surfacing like this is something you know we want to see. 
all the kind of reporters inside there, you realize they are just like part of her. They don't ask difficult questions. And when they sideline you, like you are that kind of person, fond of asking difficult questions, know that you will not be called off. Him being seven months in there and not having a single opportunity to ask a question is something to write home about. It is insane. It's, it, it will be boring, you know. He sent this out on Twitter. Instead of standing for me, Tamaraka attacked me in a letter. Dear colleague, as you all know, there was an extreme breakdown of decoding into the daily briefing what happened today created a hostile work environment for everyone in that room this is my first note to the press corp imploring everyone to be imploring everyone to be respectful of each other and to conduct ourselves in a professional manner during this televised briefing unfortunately this is an issue that keeps recurring despite our best effort to ensure basic decorum you have told us that you are deeply frustrated with the outburst and we share that frustrations for those looking for some basic facts about what the white house decorum controls whca controls and what the white house control i encourage you to read this great info written by board member Toad over the summer are uh, at the risk of becoming a broken record preventing a briefing from proceeding hurts the entire press corps and amount to a violation of the i don't want to proceed with this this is even insane because he did not break or stop whatever thing they wanted to do he simply want to be heard he wants his voice to be heard. Why not give him the opportunity? If he doesn't even do like this, nobody will notice that a reporter like this even existing. So I don't see the problem. And the no. press corps is tired of dealing with this. It is not about you, Simon. Understand that you get questioned all the time and you the don't understand what it is to sit here for eight months and being discriminated hey, against. You, understand you're that you're in the front row and you feel comfortable and you get questions all the time. But there are people in the back who don't get any questions. Don't make assumptions about what the rest of us do. Mind your manners when you're in here. If you have a problem, you bring it up afterwards. But you are impinging on everybody in here who's only trying to do their job. Okay, Sorry. thank you. I'm saying that you shouldn't discriminate against some people because you don't agree with their question, you're offended by your question. Major point. We all heard it. Okay.